are going to talk about the thyroid. So if you've been following me all week, I've been doing hormones. Uh, last week I did all fasting. Last week I had so many people reach out to me about fasting and how did we do it. You can go back and watch all of that. Um, I was really blown away by the feedback that we got. Um, this week, hormones, oh my gosh, so many of you guys are experiencing hormonal problems. I, I get it. I've been there myself. Um, and I know it, how much it, it, it sucks. It's not a fun experience. Depression, anxiety, weight gain, uh, hot flashes, not sleeping well. Those are all symptoms of malfunctioning um, hormones. And I talked a little bit about my story yesterday. Uh, it really, I, I, I really, from the bottom of my heart, get how frustrating those symptoms are. I know that many of you are struggling, and so I'm hoping that this week's Facebook Lives are going to give you some hope and give you some direction that you can point yourself in. So ask questions. I'm on, I'm, even after this video is done, when it's, when it's no longer live, I'm still there answering. But I want to keep it to five minutes, and I have trouble doing that because I love talking about this. So um, here's what I'm going to show you. I want to show you why, what your blood work, what, what your lab work means. Because a lot of you, what I hear from patients many times is, my lab work was normal, but I feel horrible. Okay, so there, we get, a lot of you get that. How many of you have that? You know, I, I hear that all the time. Um, I also hear, okay, my, I just, you know, like my, my blood work is not good. I have Hashimoto's, I have high TSH. Um, and all my medical doctor wants to do is put me on medication. So I want you, the goal of this particular Facebook Live is to understand when you look at your blood work, what are you looking at? So, and I'm going to show you the key pieces here. I know that many times there's other pieces to the blood work, but these are the ones that are important as far as what you can do nutritionally and detox wise to change the way that your body's feeling. So, Remember, if you go back to my old videos, remember that the pituitary is the gland that sits at the top, at the bottom of your brain, and it controls all hormonal, connect, uh, hormonal um, uh, conduction. I mean, it, it, it controls all hormones, all endocrine glands. And so one of the things that the pituitary does is it secretes thyroid stimulating hormone. And thyroid stimulating hormone, the purpose of thyroid stimulating hormone is to go to the thyroid and tell the thyroid to secrete T4, and then the thyroid secretes T4, T4 and T4 stimulates T3, and then T3 goes into the cell and you get metabolism. You get your body metabolizing. So if your thyroid stimulating hormone is off, that is a sign that your pituitary is off, and if the pituitary is off, the thing you need to look for are heavy metals. That's what we're seeing in my office, is that we can, we can balance the thyroid stimulating hormone off by testing for he heavy metals and seeing what's going on there. So a heavy metal test, a challenged heavy metal test is what you wanna uh, ask your doctor or your natural doctor to do. Okay, if, you're t uh, if your body is low in selenium or it's low in iodine, you may have enough TSH, it may cause the thyroid to secrete T4, but you might not be converting it to T3 if your selenium and your iodine are off. So please ask your doctor to test your serum selenium and your serum iodine. Many times thyroid issues are just a, a selenium problem. Maybe you just need to have your selenium checked. If your doctor will not test your selenium, Come find me, we'll send you to a lab, we'll, we'll get it tested. If you're having trouble getting T3, if, if, if you're not, if we're finding that your cell, like I talked about yesterday, that your cells can be inflamed from fats, sugar, and toxins, then I can give you all the T3, all the T4 uh, hormones that I can chemically drum up, but it will not get into the cell because that cell is inflamed these receptor sites can be blocked from toxins that are accumulated in your body. So if you're one of those people that your doctor says, your blood work looks amazing, I don't know why you feel bad, it's because there's a problem with the cell. The T3 can't get into the cell, and you need to start working on these three things. You gotta work on the fats, the sugars, and you gotta work on detoxifying. 
So if you're new to detoxifying, I, I wrote a book called The Reset Factor. There's a 15-day detox in there that you can, you can look at. So now, if you're under a lot of stress, one of the problems we have with stress is that when the body's in a crisis, whether it's a mental crisis or a physical crisis, is that T4 does not make T3. It makes something called reverse T3. And reverse T3 might blocks those receptor sites as well. So another one for you guys that are like, uh, your, your doc says, hey, your blood look, looks great, you feel horrible, there's a good chance you have high levels of reverse T3. I find in my office, most people need to go have their, their doctor test selenium iodine and reverse T3. I also find many doctors resistant to doing that. I don't know why, but again, if they're resistant, come back to me, uh, reach out to me, I'm happy to help you. Uh, we can write you a prescription, get you that test, because those are crucial. So let me just recap real quickly, and then I'm going to talk about Hashimoto's. So if TSH is off, you're going to think brain, pituitary. If your, uh, your T4 and T3 are off, you're going to think selenium iodine, reverse T3. If your blood work is normal and you're still not feeling well, you're going to think cellular damage. Now there's one last thing, and this is the most common, most growing epidemic we're seeing right now. My office is, is filling up with people with Hashimoto's. So any autoimmune condition is gut. It's all gut. It's candida, leaky gut. It's uh, SIBO. You've got to repair the gut. If you've got Hashimoto's and you're concerned, you've got to think about the gut and getting some repair into the gut. Those of you that are a part of my resetter group, I did a whole thing on repairing the gut yesterday. I did a thing again on today. Hop on over to that page. If you're not a part of my group, just put in the bottom, I want in, and, I'll, and we'll let you in. So, and we'll show you how to repair the gut. Okay, so hopefully I told you something you had no idea. Like, if you have a thyroid problem and you've never heard this, then your last five minutes was hopefully well worth it. Go explore these ideas. Direct message me if you have questions. Now, because I teach so many people thyroid, I created a little infograph that will show you, or you've probably seen it backwards now that I, I realize I'm showing you this, um, that basically says everything I just said. It's, a, it's I'm a give me the bulletproof kind of gal. So it, this is basically everything I just said. If you want a copy of this, just say in the comments, put give it to me. You could put, give it to me, please. That'd be kind of cool, but <laughs> just give it to me and we will send you a copy of this. So I am, if you live local, I'm in the Bay Area, uh, California. If you live local, I am doing a thyroid talk here on Tuesday night, next Tuesday night. Come meet me, come tell me about what your journey is um, and I will go into this in detail. I will show you how to fix this in detail. So if you're local and you wanna know about that, just put in the comment section, Thyroid Talk, and we'll send you the Eventbrite link. There's no charge for it. Um, again, we're trying to get this information out. I am sure I went way over five minutes, but I'm hoping it's helpful to you guys. Again, thank you for your feedback. Thank you for sharing it. I think of all the videos I did, this may be the most important one. So please share it. There's too many people suffering. There's so many things you can do. Please reach out to others. Let them know about what you're learning. Invite them into, our, our, uh, into my page. I'm, this is all about information.